Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at um, the creation of this um, something that looks like um, like a corn, like a corn stub. Um, this can also be like a teeth, but simplified anyway. Um, this is basically super simple, basically just like a cylinder being extruded, but I might actually do some kind of randomization here. Um, let's see if we have some kind of masking. Yeah, extrude separate actually have masking, so we might actually use that. Um, so we might actually use inset special and extrude separate. Um, let's get started. So file save as spread chop corn. First, just create like a cylinder, and then view your draw and cylinder. Do we need a cap? And that's okay. Inset special vertices polygon vertices polygon. Okay, so we have this. First of all, cylinder. How many subdivision we want? And Check this uh, stop. Actually, we don't need the cap, the distance, and the inset. That's gonna be our for our um, corn elements. The only thing with uh, the only problem with the uh, extrusion is that. We might accidentally extrude the other faces because it's um, extruding every single face, so we might actually need to use the inset. So let's try if we use the inset. Um, maybe we can delete loose first of all. Delete loose, and let's have a look at this result. So that's much cleaner, and then we just extrude it, um, extrude separate faces. Create height, and then maybe scale it up. So this is probably pretty much it. Um, this guy is a little bit slow, just a little bit slow. Um, Let's see if we can make this a little bit denser. More subdivision. So I don't know. In reality, if you make like a like a corn, maybe you will use some kind of a displacement method. You don't want to have too much resolutions unless you get a uh, like really close to the to the corn. So this can be quite heavy. Okay, that seems to be okay. Maybe scale this more. One point eight. We can actually use bevel as well, but let me bake that and then have a look smooth it so yeah of course uh, we can always use the um, baffle here baffle and put it up there and let's see give more weight the baffle seems to have changed a little bit Okay, that's interesting. With only vertices, no angle, width, segment, profile, no offset. So that's uh, if you kind of making it more like a like a corn. 
Um, let's see here. If we want to use uh, masking, we can try doing that. So for the mask, it should be like a, a boolean value. Let's say if someone like eats the the corn, and so we have some some holes. Let's try doing that. Noise vector noise can do it. Scalar, how many do we need? The number is dependent on the number of faces. So polygon polygon faces is coming out from this guy. Vertices. We might need to get polygon center. Center polygon and use this guy and polygon and we get the center now we can use the vertices here and the output can go into the mask just need to round the value let's see hopefully this works round noise stethoscope we might get a value like minus one as well so we have one 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 and there's a few zero let's use a stethoscope number two two hundred sixteen items okay two hundred sixteen and what's the value um, let's test the viewer text and view this text editor have a look so we get mostly one there's few zeros so that's probably okay plug that into the mask and we should get some holes So if we bake it out, so yeah, that's that can be it. Might not be too pretty, but kind of alright. We can use a vector math in here, kind of multiplied by scalar, so. Hopefully, we can control the noise a bit better. So there you go. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot control the scaling in X and Y. Um, otherwise that could be better there might be another way to do this that's um, slightly faster let's say if you let's say you want to replace um, each part with a with something that's already pre-made um, let's see I think we should design it so it's facing the z-axis um it's doing it like that edit mode i have not done manual modeling for a while edge bevel okay edge bevel will give you that that's not what we want Maybe just face extrusion, scale it in this X. Maybe go back to edge.
move it down so that's um, more or less looks like something that can become a, a popcorn okay so we have that we can perhaps bevel it a little bit actually don't bevel it cancel that let's use this guy um, so we have this cylinder and then blah 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 center polygon we can use adaptive polygons objects in get our object and this is gonna be the donor and this guy is the recipient and the output should be this guy okay let's have a look kind of doing it maybe we need to control the z coefficient 0.5 kind of okay it seems to be pretty fast that's pr probably a good alternative for this and by doing this uh, we let's say okay we don't worry about all these we can adjust the resolution and adjust this and then vertices would be nice if the cylinder able to kind of a uh, normally cylinder looks like this right it has radius top and radius bottom would be nice to be able to make a cylinder more like fat or less fat but you can always do it um, different differently so that's kind of it we have more division yeah I guess that's pretty much it for this live noting um, Point eight. Maybe if we actually um, randomize the vertices, it's gonna give um, kind of more natural look. Randomize input vertices to this guy to the cylinder. Just give it point two. Because sometimes you have um, corn that's kind of irregular, so that's a little bit extreme, but that's a uh, that's interesting. Uh, but oh yeah, be careful here because I just realized I'm baking like 216 objects or actually 312 objects. That's why it's slow. We want to mesh join here, so that's uh, this is better. If we bake it now, uh, oops, I think I delete my corn object. I'm hitting the undo. Hopefully, we can get back. Okay, I'm gonna delete everything except for this guy. Select this guy, get selection. And mesh join. Okay, boom. We get our random looking corn bake. Okay, that's better. We can smooth it. That's kind of mess up looking corn maybe because of radiations uh, well maybe not too much point one
Yeah, that's a little bit better. Bake. So we have this guy. Smooth it. Normally with a corn, they're kind of next to each other more closely somehow. But maybe you can add resolutions to this guy. Maybe just give like a slight randomization. 0 0.02 just very little and then add more deficiencies. have a look maybe less of this inset oh, okay maybe 0.9 then so they are a little bit tight now uh, that's a little bit better and then what else we can do don't know with Okay, bake, smooth, okay that's more more or less like a corn or maybe it looks like um, like a Ikea kind of mat, you have this kind of filly looking thing or it can be a, like a teeth, yeah. So you can also randomize just after the delete loose, you can randomize it again using noise, but it's totally up to you. So that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. So we need to have um, this guy and uh, for the adaptive polygon. Um, I'm gonna take a screenshot. This way. There we go. Take a screenshot. There you go. That's just an exploration of uh, extruding uh, to generate um, like corn, like a very detailed kind of corn procedurally. Um, yeah, hopefully you find this useful and let me know in the comments below any suggestion. Uh, just let me know. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.